morning. It is technically afternoon. Oop. So today is Monday, October 2nd, and welcome to day two of Vlogtober. Guys, I really love that little ghost animation. He's so cute. Let's see. Better. Okay. My dad always makes fun of me that my glasses are all smudgy i'll clean them i'll clean them um these are new glasses and they when you step outside in the sun they change to sunglasses because i've never had prescription sunglasses before and they're a game changer so yes welcome to vlogtober day two how are we how are we feeling how are we liking the pumpkin mug i'm not much of a tea or coffee person so we stick with water but it's another really really warm day let's check the temperature there's people out there's people fishing on the lake high of 83 that's crazy so i think we're gonna go on a walk to one of our favorite um forest preserves do a little walk enjoy the last bits of warmth i know i said yesterday like it was gonna be like the last day but it's still gonna be warm let's check the rest of the week okay we have up until thursday thursday is kind of our last warm day and then it goes to the 50s my least favorite okay i sat down just to say hello day two we haven't given up yet this is so exciting a walk is on the books i was gonna bake something but we have baked goods from my aunt and uncle yesterday and we still have liz's cake and we also have just like sweets in the house so we're gonna hold off on the baking I did not finish harry potter last night so we're gonna have to finish that and i need to make a list of all the things i want to do this month because i have not done that yet i was trying to do it before the month started but i had no time so oh you can even kind of see because <laughs> we're kind of in the sun my glasses are a little a little darker cute yeah i really like well i really like this blanket that we got here i'll show you i really love this room it's our sunroom Ooh, gorgeous yes how fancy a sunroom aren't these pillows lovely and i was gonna say this ruggable rug is my favorite i love it love a good poof do you like my amazon cloud slippers but what i was going to say was this blanket it reminds us of small world and this side whoa this side is also very cute and mom really likes it because it's like 70s and she like remembers having blankets like this when she was growing up anyway i just saw it in the background and thought i'd share we got both of these fabrics at Joann's and then we did the trusty classic tie knots all the way around, but yes, good blanket. I don't think there's anything else I have to share with you as of right now. Ooh, I think we are going to do a little morning skincare because last night was nighttime skincare. In a little bit, I will do morning skincare. Yes, day two, day two, let's go, let's go. All right, dishes are all done. How nice and clean everything is. And then I washed my strawberries in baking soda and salt and then de-stemmed them. And then I let them air dry and then I will cut them. I like having strawberries ready to go. Strawberries are one of my favorite fruits. I like having them ready to go, ready to eat out of the fridge and not having to worry about washing them and drying them and cutting them up. I literally just have them all cut up in here and then I sprinkle them on yogurt or just sometimes by themselves with a banana or in cereal or in ice cream even, so yeah. All right, we are back. Well, you are back in the corner of the bathroom and we are going to do, ooh! Morning skincare, let's go. Okay. We're gonna put this on, same thing as yesterday. Oh, this is my shirt for today. Mickey's not so scary. Already bringing it out. Beautiful. Ooh, okay, face wash, like yesterday. Beautiful. Next up, we have to shake it, is a prescription acne medication. It is 
clindamycin phosphate lotion and it looks like this uh-huh <laughs> and then we just put it everywhere focusing it on the places where I break out amazing okay again <laughs> mix everything set a little bit faster beautiful and then again with the CeraVe gorgeous gorgeous I have to take my nail polish off it's chipping um, I don't know if I'm gonna get to that today moisturizer all on the face, down the neck, and on the eyes. Beautiful. We're flying through this, guys. Next. Um, this is a relatively new sunscreen I'm trying. La Roche Posay 60 Face Broad Spectrum SPF 60. It's all the same thing. Anthelios Clear Skin Sunscreen Oil Free Won't Cause Breakouts Dry Touch with Cell X Shield UVA UVB Protection Plus Antioxidants. Um, I got this for, well, I ran out of my old sunscreen. I was traveling to my best friend Haley's bachelorette party and I needed sunscreen and I needed a travel size and this is what they had at Ulta. It's 1.7 fluid ounces. So that's basically why I got it because I could travel with it, but I really like it. Someone's calling me. Hold on. Okay, sunscreen is on. Two things about this sunscreen, it does pill. Oh. What's going on here? I have some dry skin. If I rub it in like too hard, or I don't know why it does it, but it does pill and then you get, I don't know if you can see. So I don't love that, but I feel like if I don't over rub it on my skin, it's fine. And it also dries matte. And I know a lot of sunscreens don't. And if that's your vibe, then this is definitely it. And then one of the last steps, Aquaphor. This is a pretty fast, pretty easy, pretty simple morning skincare. It's been my go-to routine for like a couple years. And then, oh, lastly, this is a homemade nail cuticle serum because my nails get so dry and they chip and they peel and it's not good. So this is a recipe from Christine, Simply Nail Logical, who makes Hollow Taco. And it's basically jojoba oil with a little bit of vitamin E gel. Jojoba oil, jojoba oil is really, really good for your skin, your nails. So putting it on your nails really moisturizes them and prevents them from breaking. We just put it in these little like perfume roller things that we got on Amazon. You just Rub it into your cuticles on your nails and it keeps them moisturized for a little bit anyway. You're supposed to do it like a couple times a day. I just do it once because that's all I can really remember to do. All right, that's the morning skincare. I'm not gonna do any makeup today, so I'll probably just put my hair up and that's it. Okay, I'm going on a walk and look at how cute my socks are. I love them so much. I got them at um, Home Goods, I think. Nailed it. All right, let's go for a walk. Don't look at my messy room, okay? We're gonna try and see how long it takes for this to go flying. It's not resting on literally anything. Okay, we are going. We're going for a walk. As you can see, the sun is setting. Oh, girl. The sun is setting, and I know I just did my morning skincare but I'm not gonna lie to you it took me far longer than I was hoping to edit vlogtober day one but I'm not gonna worry about it too much as long as it gets up I'll be happy did I close the garage yes oh this sun looks so pretty oh yes gorgeous 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 okay <gasps> look at that I love a lens flare what is this broski doing motorcycle man you're in my way. <laughs> there we go, okay, okay. Beautiful, here we go. A big left turn, is she gonna make it? Because I'm going slow. Yes, she made it, everyone. I'm getting hungry. <laughs> what else is going on? Mom just got back shopping, so I will hopefully give you a little haul if she hasn't put everything away already When by the time I get back. And I wanna show you the craft fair purchases she got yesterday. I have become a little bit obsessed with listening to the set list that Linda Edder played at the concert the other day. I made a Spotify playlist of all of the songs she sang and I also spent a long, long time Googling and trying to find the original 
performer because everything was kind of like a cover of a cover of a cover from like a musical or a film or something random. But anyway, all that to say, I'm really obsessed with the playlist from the set list and I will link it down below if you want to listen to it. Okay, another big turn, guys. Hold on, everyone, hold on to your hats because it's the wildest ride in the wilderness and somebody's behind me. Oh, gorgeous. Okay, I've been really, really loving that playlist because it's it's very fall. It's very jazzy and a little bit musical theater and it's like mostly chill. You're gonna accompany me on the whole trip. This is so exciting. The leaves are starting to change, mostly still green, but it's always fun when everything is beautiful, golds and reds and oranges. And then it's not so beautiful when they're all brown and then they fall and it's bare trees and it's really cold outside and I just want to wrap myself in a blanket and go to bed. That's what winter is. Hibernation, you know? That's a cute dog. Okay, so as you can see, the sun is setting. This forest preserve closes. It opens at sunrise, closes at sunset. So it's 6.06. We have 24, 23, uh-oh. It's 6.07, 23 minutes to walk so we will probably only do the one mile it's so pretty the sky was blue today i love a blue sky there's some clouds but i hate in the winter time when it's literally just a gray sky michelle obama in one of her in her first book said something about like a steel boot just clamps over chicago and surrounding areas areas and that's definitely what happens all right i'm meeting my sister to walk Let's see if she is here. But yeah, the sky's blue today, so I'm happy. Happy, happy girl. I beat her. Did I, is that her car? No. Okay, we're gonna take this spot. <gasps> She's right behind me. That's so exciting. Yes. Okay, we gotta go fast. She's probably gonna yell at me for vlogging. Oh, yeah. Okay, we gotta go, we gotta walk. Pretty trees. Okay, we're gonna start the two mile. Hopefully, we make it out in time. We'll be fine. Um, I know, I'm sweating, my sun, my glasses are sliding down my nose. How are we feeling? Mid walk? Good, thanks, get some steps in and fresh air. Exactly. exactly. We'll see if the swannies are out. Yeah, I couldn't see them from so. where we were walking back there. And one eye was green and one eye was red. We're done with our walk. We're going home for dinner. I'm so sweaty. We saw the swans. They weren't in their usual spot. They were kind of in the corner. But it is later than when we usually walk. Liz had two funny things she said. She said, well, she pointed out a squirrel that was literally hanging from a tree to eat an acorn, like upside down, and then you saw his like tail hanging down. And then she said, squirrels are nuts. And then I said, that's a good one. And then there's a lot of bunnies on this trail. And usually when you get close to them, they sprint back into like the little brush. And one bunny didn't move. He just stared us down. And Liz said, that's a bad bunny. <laughs> Liz, she was on fire tonight, oh my goodness. We're gonna go back, eat some food. We have Real Housewives of New York to watch because it premieres on Sundays and yesterday we did not watch it because we had company. Speaking of company, we have tickets to see company on the national tour in Chicago. That's in November though. We have a fun jam-packed fall coming up. We also have tickets to see Jim Gaffigan and Jerry Seinfeld at the United Center that is also in November. And then the concert I was talking about yesterday that is this month is Vitamin String Quartet, the music of Bridgerton. We love Bridgerton and we love the music in it. So we have that, I wanna say the 18th, I'm not sure though. All right, this is mom's haul. These talatis. You know I'm addicted and I could use some fresh ones. They're cool. I thought they were fun for fall. I love them. Yeah. Okay. And your socks. And then I love the Dr. Motion and now Dr. Motion is branching out and they were on sale, which yeah, is I nice. I like that length. This is the crew length, but I almost got knee socks. It is very hard to find knee socks and on a very cold day when you have to adventure out, knee socks are 
need it. <laughs> this is like kind of a really popular brand. What does it smell like? Well, it's called the perfect morning. Look at us. Hey. Look at us. Hey. Look at us. I've been wanting a coffee candle for a long time, but it's also got pumpkin and cinnamon. Oh, it's really coffee. I smelled a ton. I would have probably could have gotten at least and four more. That's not my favorite. Well, Liz, but I've always wanted a coffee one. Can you smell? I smell other things. I get like I espresso, smell other things. I, I smell coffee, cinnamon, 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 vanilla, it and was pumpkin. A lot of coffee yeah. for me. That's what the lady it at the smells, store said. But it I, smells like a perfect morning, though. It is a perfect morning, and one small positive thought in the morning can change your whole day. May your day be as perfect as your first cup of morning coffee. Oh, so it's coffee. Love. Cut cashmere, cupcakes, cupcakes and, and cashmere. cashmere. And I've been. It's really cute. So, this is the one that you no, let me, were on the hunt for. Well, I, I like the on, pink. I think this will be pretty on my bed in the Christmas months, and I'm going to probably keep it up January, maybe into February. I've always wanted to do my room in pink for Christmas. I love it. A pink tree with, you know, kind of like poinsettias or Christmassy flowers. So I had to get it, and it was only $16.99. They're usually like $20.25. And then these are your, your craft fair finds. And then my little... Hand sewn, right, Mom? Yes, yeah, she hand sews. Then my little coffee, or... Not coffee. Flower pot angel. Flower pot angel, so, very you. And the heart button, pretty ribbon, the little gingham, it's all me. There we go. So yeah, you, so you like my blanket. I I love your blanket. You, you know, and then you got this board. board. I love the colors. This blue is really pretty. It's pretty with the yellow and the sunflowers. Blue pumpkins are becoming very popular. God, I love Bryn. I, I love, love her so love her. much. <laughs> All right, it's a little later. We watched Real Housewives of New York. I love those girls, they're so funny. That's a really, really good franchise if you wanna start watching Housewives. New York is a good one. Now it's time for just one more thing and then I'm gonna get to bed. I'm gonna pull out all of my fallish clothes that I would like to wear during fall. Like this t-shirt so I actually wear them. I don't think I have many. I have a lot of jackets. Can you see? I. Whenever there's like a nice Target jacket in the clearance section, I snag it. This was Target, this was Target, this is Target, this is Target, this is Target. A turtleneck, I never wear turtlenecks. This is actually my mom's. This one's more like a flannel, I've had this one. Shroop Farms Beats. This is a Halloween-y shirt, but I don't like, for a couple years, we did the Halloween party and the women's cut, I just don't like. I'm gonna have to figure figure it out. We'll pull Pooh's garden. We'll pull this one. It's it's Halloween-y. The girls, the witches, and then there should be one more Halloween. Again with the women's cut, but Minnie's so cute and I think she wasn't on like the normal t-shirt. She was only on the women's. And it is so soft, but I don't like the scoop neck. I don't like how short these sleeves are. And then I have one Halloween-y sweatshirt that says trick or treat people with kindness. At one point this was on my Etsy store and I need to put it back on there, but I wanna take new pictures of it. Any of my sweaters are really fall here. I'll pull this one and I'll show you the trick I learned on TikTok to fold it or hang it up. You put it like this and you fold it in half, fold it in half and then you take your hanger, put it right there, and this side goes over there, and that side goes over there, and you can hang it up. Beautiful. So those are all my full clothes pulled. I also have some, oh, I gotta do socks. I'll do socks, and also I wanted to decorate my room today and make a cute little garland to go around my bookshelf, but I ran out of time. We'll do it another day, but we also have this guy to put out somewhere. Oh, and I have a Jack Skellington blanket. Okay, we'll have to like full on decorate and finish pulling out Halloween-y stuff tomorrow. With my candlelight, I am almost ready for bed. I am going to do some heatless curls and I lit my candle that I lit last night 
and I don't do these every night. They tend to hold better and longer throughout the day, like tomorrow, if my hair is a little dirty. When's the last time I washed it? Thursday. This is four day old hair. Um, I should probably wash it tomorrow. So I guess you'll see in the morning how they turn out. They usually turn out well, knock on wood, and then um, they kind of fall throughout the day. But yeah, I just kind of started doing this during the summer because I wanted to get a set of these or this one is one and it works. My sister had it and she wasn't using it and it really worked on my hair so she let me have it. So this is how I do it. I tend to give more on this side because however I pull it, I always end up having less on this and more on this side. So we're gonna try and balance it. I look amazing. I'm gonna take this front section, wrap it away from my face, grab a little more hair, wrap it away. And then the more individual sections you have, the tighter the curls will be. So if I wanted just like big, loose, beachy waves, I would have grabbed only like two or three sections. This one I pulled, what, like four sections? And then I twist it like this. And then secure it with this silk scrunchie and then do the other side. And it doesn't take that long. And it's not that uncomfortable to sleep with. Obviously, it's a little less uncomfortable than not having it, but it is soft. And if you put your head just right, you can't really feel it. Oh, now see this time, I don't have enough on this side. So we're just gonna, I wonder if they make like extra long ones for longer hair, cause I used to have really long hair. And then I cut it and donated it, and that was almost like a year ago. Or it was a year ago. And then what I do is I twist it to get it a little bit tighter. Ooh, but don't hurt yourself, don't hurt your hair. And then same, see like this seems like loose. So I just make sure to twist it the right way. And twist it. And then we'll check it in the morning. So that is it for day two. I will end you right here with my coffee cup. Isn't she so cute? And on the middle it says, uh oh, don't spill water. Gourd times, instead of good times. Tomorrow we are actually taking the boat out of the water because it is supposed to get cold later in the week. So we are taking the boat out of the water tomorrow. So you will see that. And then I'm a little bit behind. I felt like I was kind of rushing today. So I don't know how this video turned out, but I hope tomorrow to kind of get caught up on things and do some more fun fall things. All right, that is it. Good day two. See you tomorrow for day three. Good night.